Well, I'm just kind of farting around today, so we're going to be adjusting the valves, going to be changing the plugs, but I might as well check what kind of compression we got in this old girl. So it looks like I'm sitting about 150. Hey everybody, Dre for Bullshit Corner. Today's video, I'm going to do a simple, easy video to tune up on a Honda two-cylinder generator engine. This is one of those videos where not everything is accessible and it's going to be a little difficult to get at some things. Not impossible, but a little awkward. But the main reason why I'm doing this video is that earlier I did a compression test and the engine compression test came back at 150 PSI in both holes. And I thought that was pretty good, but it's actually it's not because the compression is supposed to be 170, 140 a service. But considering this generator had sat for a while. Well, I got everything apart. It's a good time to change out the spark plugs because it'll be a lot easier to turn the engine without compression. All right, so here's the spark plugs are a little on the white side, which is kind of what I expected because the intake boot was torn off. So... But we're going to put new plugs in anyways and then see foam the shit out of it. Well, I need to let that vent out and then we'll change the oil and the spark plugs and we'll fire it back up and we'll see how smoky it is after that. We'll do compression tests. All right, I'm gonna drain the oil. This is not a factory oil drain, but some little hookup somebody made. Looks like it's gonna be a painful process to drain the oil. So I got the oil drained and the cap put back on, but the stupid thing is, is that your oil filter is down there. You shine a light on that. And you really, it's not really a lot of room to reach up. Like you can reach it and turn it, but your clearance between your oil filter and this is pretty stupid. So I'm gonna have to loosen these bolts and the ones on the side, pull this electrical panel out a bit just to get the filter off. I don't think, that's not a very good engineering design in my books. So now I got this thing apart enough that I can reach inside and turn the oil filter off and change it. There's the aftermarket filter that was on it and that's the OEM Honda one. There's quite a bit of difference in size which could be the reason why I had to remove that panel. I'm going to put the new one on and see how it looks. That's with the stock one in place. It's got a little bit more room, not much. Let's top this thing back up with oil and then fire it up, see how smoky it is after I let that sea foam sit for about five minutes. All right, generator takes 1040 oil. I just got some Quaker State because it's cheap. And that's where this funnel with the hose comes in handy for feeding it in. Takes about just under two liters. Fuck off, phone. I'm gonna fill it up. All right, let's fire this thing back up. And see how it's gonna run. You're not going to be able to see that good, but that sea foam really cleans everything off. All the carbon is off that piston. Well, let's see what happens in cylinder number one. Compression is still the same at 150. Let's see cylinder number two. Same thing, 150. Just did the gap on the spark plugs, and they pretty much come pre-gapped. So we're gonna install the new spark plugs in, and this tune-up is done. All right, I'm gonna end my video on that. On just a quick tune-up on the engine, everything went all right. 
I swear engineers never design anything with service in mind. If you got a part that you're going to change regularly, you think you'd make it easy to access and easy to take care of, but unfortunately engineers are fucking retards. So on another note, I did a compression test at 150, seafoam the engine, and I thought maybe you might get lucky that after sitting for long periods of time that might have been some stuck rings or something, that's not the case. The engine is getting weak. I am going to rebuild it sometime in the future, just not anytime soon. I got some bigger projects on the mend. But however, I did not put oil in the cylinder to see if the compression goes up because I don't give a fuck. Because if I'm tearing down the engine, I'm going to put new rings in it, maybe new pistons and new valves. So it really doesn't matter. So if you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.